In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get access and install the web browser feature in ChatGPT, as well as how you can get access to all plugins in ChatGPT. Very important thing is to realize how the introduction of new features in ChatGPT works. The first phase is called alpha phase. In the alpha phase, a very, very small group of users is given access to the new feature for testing and feedback. This stage allows us to gather insights from a diverse group and make any necessary adjustments based on real world use. We aim to gain a better understanding or different user experiences, which will help us develop a more useful feature. Now, after the alpha phase, which is where all the buzz comes from on all social media platforms where only a certain amount of people such as developers and other influencers have access to these new features and they are creating all the buzz around it. Only after that comes the beta phase. In beta, what is happening is that all ChatGPT plus subscribers are having access to these features as well. So here they write during the beta phase, the updated feature is made available to ChatGPT plus subscribers who have opted in for beta testing. This larger user base helps us further evaluate the feature's performance, stability, and overall user experience in an extended environment. And then the third phase is called general availability. After the beta testing is completed, we assess whether the feature is ready for a broader audience. If the feature meets our quality standards, it will be made available to all ChatGPT users. As they write here on their help center on May 2023, if you are a ChatGPT Plus user, enjoy early access to experimental new features, which may change during development. We'll be making these features accessible via a new beta panel in your settings which is rolling out to all plus users over the course of the next week. Once the beta panel rolls out to you, you will be able to try two new features. Web browsing, try a new version of ChatGPT that knows when and how to browse the internet to answer questions about recent topics and events. And the second one is plugins, try a new version of ChatGPT that knows when and how to use third-party plugins that you enable. Now, the first thing that you have to do is that you have to have a ChatGPT Plus subscription. That is a must. Here you can see that the design has been updated and has changed a little bit. So we have the ChatGPT 3.5 and ChatGPT 4. Before that, it was a, a drop down menu. So this is good because you can then see that, okay, some updates have been available to your account, but everyone is having the plugins as well as the web browsing feature down here under ChatGPT4 and you just don't know how to turn this on. So what you want to do is that you want to go to your profile and you want to click on settings. And then here you can see that this is the beta phase that we have talked about before in the video. So you can click on the beta features and then you can see that I actually have this available to my profile because I'm a ChatGPT subscriber but it's not turned on. So I'm going to switch it on. I'm also going to switch on the plugins. And now when I close this window, I can immediately see that I have the drop down menu with browsing and plugins. You can see the small badge on the right. So this is telling you that you're in the beta phase where they have made the features available to all ChatGPT Plus subscribers, which makes sense because I'm a ChatGPT Plus subscriber. So if we click on the browsing, you are right now choosing it uh, and you can see it by looking at this tick right next to it. So let's just quickly demonstrate it. Who is the biggest YouTuber in the world in terms of the number of subscribers? And I'm going to press send. Now you can see that it's browsing the web and you can also see it up here that the model is using the web browsing feature browsing the web most subscribed youtube channel 2023 it's taking some time and what i found out is that sometimes it's browsing multiple sources probably to make sure that the information is correct but you will get the answer at the end and as you can see it wrote down the answer, the biggest YouTube channel in terms of the number of subscribers as of April 2023 is T-Series, an Indian record label with over 240 million subscribers. And it also gives you the reference where you can click on it 
and go to the page where the information um, has been sourced from. Let's create a new chat and right now we can go to plugins and then you can see that I have no plugins enabled because I have just uh, enabled this feature on my profile. But what you can do is that you want to click on uh, this drop down menu here and then you can go to something called plugin store. When you click on it, the plugin store is going to load and from here you are able to choose from multiple plugins to use in ChatGPT. You can also go and sort by most popular. So one of the most popular right now is Zapier because what it allows you is that you can integrate the ChatGPT function of creating emails, responding to emails and connect that to your business through Zapier. And then you also have the option for all plugins. I'm going to have more videos about ChatGPT plugins, so make sure you subscribe down below so you are not gonna miss out on that. The last thing I want to mention, and that is very important because it has also happened to me, and it has been also happening for many, many other people. What might happen to you is that in your profile, you are not able to see your plugins or you are not able to see your web browser feature. So it might look something like this. For this user, it looks like they only have access to plugins, but they don't have access to the web browsing feature. If we scroll down, you can see that this person has access to both of these. If we scroll down, we can see that this person, for example, doesn't have access to anything. And here, this person doesn't have access to plugins. So it really depends. It can be a combination that you have access to both, neither or just one of them. But there is a solution in this thread and it's from the OpenAI spokesperson. They are saying, hey folks, the plugins and browsing grounds are independent rollouts, so you might only have access to one, neither or both as we ramp to 100% over the next few days. What they are saying is that it's taking a little bit more time to roll it out to all users. So what happened to me, it was the same. For me, I got firstly the access to web browsing experience, which was around one week ago. And then after three days of me getting access to web browsing experience, suddenly this plugins appear here as well. So it might take a few days later on, but essentially if you are a ChatGPT Plus subscriber, you're going to get access to this web browsing experience as well as the plugins essentially. Now that's it. If this was helpful in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you can get tutorials and videos on the latest tech and AI tools. Thank you so much and have a great day.